언제나 함께 있었음 해 모든 게다 통하니까 Feels like daydream a n no I said then 난 I love my life so okay. Hi! Hello! 안녕하세요! You, 안녕하세요! Hey you! It's Italia! Have I outgrown that intro? Potentially! I don't know, sometimes I do it and sometimes I don't. Anyway, so in this vlog we are going to the city of Bucheon which is known for comics, animations, webtoons, movies. Music. So um, it's a city that's out in Gyeonggi-do, so it's gonna take us a little while to get out there because we're gonna go by subway. <laughs> Yay. Um, but the city of Bucheon has invited influencers, including myself, to go check out a ton of their different resources for those that create webtoons. Like they have artist housing, guys. So they're gonna introduce us to a lot of things, take us to a ton of museums. They have like a whole itinerary planned for us, so I am excited. I'm a I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous because I, I don't really actually know any of the influencers going and I'm hella introverted, so we'll see how this goes. Um, but at least I have y'all. <laughs> Can you guys hear me? I hope so, because we're by a really, really big, busy street. But we have made it to our first stop of the day. Okay, so I'm gonna read the name because I don't want to mess it up. Leno Puruk Museum. That is very not Korean, but you know what? It's fine. So there's a ton of different exhibits in here. Um, we have a tour guide. We are waiting for all the influencers to arrive. Let's see if Natalia can learn about webtoons in Wuchun while also maybe making some friends. They told us if we like wave at the sensor, it'll change colors. So it's orange, mango, and pineapple. That's good. I like that. That's good. I like it. Museum. It feels weird to say comics because it's not really comics, but I guess that's what we'll go with for English. So we're going to have a little tour guide. She's going to introduce like what's going on in the museum, see some of the tunchihes, and then we'll see. We'll see what we get up to. It's so cute. You know what? As I'm watching like these illustrations of the manhwa, right? I'm thinking of how my friend Julia, the one who's a professor, who's like really good at Korean, she loves reading webtoons. Like she just loves it. And I'm like, is this how you're supposed to get your Korean to the next level? By like reading webtoons? Because like my friend Julia is so good that she helped translate the BTS book, like the one that Hybe released like a year ago. She was one of the translators for it. Like for the Korean to Italian version. Like her name is in the book. She's just really good. I'm like, bruh. Random thought that kind of connects to that. If any of you are reading like Korean webtoons, whether you're reading it in Korean or in like a different language, like, you know, after it's like been translated, um, if you have anything that you could recommend, let me know. Um, put them in the comments because I feel like I might have mentioned this earlier, but like the main reason I don't read things to, <laughs> is because I hate having to find something good. Does that make sense? Like, I feel like I waste so much time trying to find something that I like. So if someone like recommends it to me, I'm more likely to check it out. Ooh. Oh, mama. 
I think this is supposed to be like one of the more scary webtoons because there is a speaker. When you stand right here, it's like a, it's like screaming. It's like an audio experience. It's very scary. But um, look at these images right here. Look at this. There's also a ginormous hand on the floor. And then this doctor man. Wow. Woosol. Okay, I'm gonna put you on this little ledge, so please do not fall off or we are both just dead. Because remember that time you guys almost fell down Namsan Mountain because you fell out of my purse and <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, I hope you can see relatively well, but I wanted to share that the floor that we are currently on is dedicated to webtoons. So the last floor was dedicated to manhwa or like the actual like comics, right? Um, and now we're looking at like the future of like these drawings, right? So digital art, digital stories. Um, so yeah, okay, let's take a little look around. Okay guys, I wanted to share this one. Be saying, da da da. So it was published, I guess, in 2012. It was made into a drama that some of you guys probably have already seen, but it's basically just talking about like the struggles of work life here in Korea. Um, our tour guide specifically like pointed this one out, being like, oh, our life, like, ugh. <laughs> um, we actually have a copy of the Banhuas for Miseng in my office. Like, it's literally like right behind me. Um, I don't know, my Kwajang name has like commented on it before, being like, oh yeah, like working overtime, yeah, Miseng, like this is, you know, our life. Um, so I just wanted to like point it out, cultural reference there. Um, okay, yeah. Okay, this guy, he's so cute. But at the same time, I'm thinking of like Attack on Titans and I'm like, he's gonna wake up and eat me. <laughs> so we just finished lunch and we came to get some coffee and I was given a gift with no context. It's me, look. Do we look similar? <laughs> It's my little leather jacket, oh my gosh. I have no idea what like webtoon artist, illustrator person made this. Oh my gosh. So, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but this vlog has been a little bit more zoomed in than normal. Um, and that's because I changed the settings on my camera to make it a little bit more stable since I tend to like walk and talk a lot um, So hopefully you guys notice that the, the footage is a little bit more or a little less shaky um, However, that also means that we're a little better of friends now, if you know what I mean <laughs> Yeah Okay, so update. We are at a botanical garden that is near the event center that's holding all the is for the webtoons and the comics and the animations and the, I think I just found a water fountain, but it's also like a dead end. Cool. Um, so like the government was just like, oh, you know, like it's nearby, like you guys should check it out. So here we are, checking it out. She cute, lots of plants. You can see no plants, hold on. Lots of plants. Yeah. <laughs> so the official part of the tour has ended, but there are these little like booths right outside of the Banwa 
Pangmurgwan. So I'm assuming they're all just like individual artists. So I was just coming to walk around. There's not that many. And if I had a bigger house, I'd probably be buying something. But I don't have much space. I feel like I have to be so darn selective with what I bring into my house because I feel like I'm starting to collect too many things. Like I've outgrown my house already with so much stuff and I've already gotten rid of so much stuff that I'm like, Ugh. Guys, these yoksos are so cute. Look at this. Let me show you another one. It says, don't worry, I'll make you happy. I know I said I wasn't gonna get anything, but this is really cute. I might get this. this is... There's so many. Okay, I moved because there were suddenly like people that wanted to look at the postcards, but I picked out which ones I'm gonna buy, so I'm gonna show you. So these two, look at this. Oh, they're a couple postcards. like. They're so cute. Okay, and then there's two more. The ones I showed you earlier, probably unless I cut that scene out. But like, look. Again, like cute couples, but they're like obviously in Korea. And the artist, or rather the studio that created these um, illustrations are the same. They're Kurimbi. Oh, Kurim, Kurimbi. Yeah, and then they were made specifically for the Banhua um, Museum, which is where we're at right now. I just like wanted to come back in here um, and look around now that like I'm not part of a ginormous group. I say ginormous like it was a lot of people. It was literally like 10. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and buy these. <laughs> Guys, I need your help. Like how do I go about saving these in like a way that I can look at them? Like do I put them in a photo album? I just, I love like collecting illustration postcards like this every time I travel around Korea. Um, just because I think they're so beautiful. I think they're more beautiful than like actual pictures, um, postcards. I don't know, there's just something about them that's just different to me. Um, but I've put so many postcards on my wall already, there's no more space. Like sincerely, there's no more space. So I'm like, do I get like a photo album? I don't know, help, help, help. I don't, I sincerely, like I'm asking because I sincerely don't know what the best solution would be, but I want to be able to look at them and be like, because I look at them and they make me happy. So let's go pay for these. Um, and then I'm going to walk around some of the exhibits again more slowly. Um, yeah, okay, let's go. Oh my goodness, I look blue and red at the same time. Um, anyway, so I just finished up my own little personal tour of the museum. Personal just meaning I went by myself. Um, but I'm going to insert those clips like it, during the time that I went with the group so it makes more chronological sense. Um, so please do not get confused. Um, but anyway, let's go home. I will see you guys next time. So comment by you guys. Bye! <laughs>